The transition from summer can, to fall can sometimes bring a change in energy levels and mood. So here to help us prioritize a little more self-care to beat the fall blues is Dr. Gail Saltz. Hey, Dr. Hey. Saltz. Hey, Dr. Saltz, always the most important guest we have on this show. Thank we you. appreciate you being here. Thank you. Happy what, to be what is it about fall that sucks the life out of us and makes us so sad? <laughs> that's a that's a long haul. A couple of things. Uh, shorter days and less sunlight mm. means that melatonin, we're circadian beings, right, mm -hmm. starts to kick in and rise earlier, which makes us feel tired and sluggish. And it actually, as melatonin rises, it causes cortisol to go down, mm. which de-energizes us. So we feel kind of blah. And the less light can really affect our mood. But also, fall is associated with the end of summer, which is a loss psychologically for a lot of people, right? No more barbecues, no more vacations, no more family getting together, no more fun in the sun at the beach. And that feeling can create a dread, a feeling of uh, like- That's exactly what I feel. A dread. 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 And, dread, and the dread, dread is also like, the leaves are changing, and you like that, right? Yeah. But that means they're dying, and that means winter's coming. Right. right. And that sense of dread can really affect our mood. And also, it is a stressful time, right? Kids go back to school, your work ramps up, yep. and that increased stress can really affect our mood. And this season, election stress yes. is oh. causing a lot of people. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. The discord, all of us are yeah. affected by that. Okay. So what, what, are, what are the signs if we're suffering from fall blues? So it can look different for different people. So pay attention if you do feel sluggish and tired and have trouble getting up to do the things you would normally be doing. Pay attention if you're feeling sadder and just more low mood, but also pay attention if you're feeling irritable and cranky during the day, because that can be a different kind of presentation, mm -hmm. but can also be fall blues. That's you, you're cranky during <laughs> the day. Okay, um, what exactly can we do to beat the blues? Okay, so first of all, I wanna say, you wanna change the associations that you have right now to, of loss to something that you look forward to and enjoy. It's football season. Okay, that's a great one. Uh, yes. So you know you want to maybe even record the game and look forward to showing yourself a little football every night for 20 minutes. Oh. You want Want to, you want to have something a little in the morning and a little in the evening yes. that you look forward to. Okay, maybe say more. Say maybe more. you no, don't. Look I, honestly, to. Um, <laughs> I, it, he can't possibly watch more football. We've run out of hours you, in the you day. You can spread it out. Okay, but like get up in the morning. Play your favorite music while ah. you're having your coffee. Or put your coffee in a to-go cup and go for a walk outside mm. where you're in nature. We should do we that. We should do that. Yes, that's Like, a look great forward idea. to things. Yeah, what else do you recommend? Okay, very important. We think of light box and light therapy associated with winter blues, but really, this starts in the fall. So if this is becoming you, start treating yourself now. Mm. So we have some light boxes here. These are yeah. therapeutic light boxes. That means they have 10,000 lux of light. Your, yours is up top. There. Um, oh, there's right the there. switch. Yep, oh. exactly. And mine is here. Whoa. Oh. Okay, super Whoa. bright. Yeah. Because it's 10,000 lux of light. Okay. And you want to place this so that you're, it's looking at your face, but you're not staring at it with your eyes open about 12 inches from your face for about 15 minutes when you first get up in the morning every day. In about a week, it starts to help you, and then you would maintain it through the winter. Okay. And we're just doing it right now. We're sucking it all in. Exactly. And um, we have to take a commercial okay. break, but we're going to have more information on how to beat the fall blues with Dr. Gail Saltz when we come back. Stick around. We're back with Dr. Gail Saltz, and we're talking about how to beat the fall blues. Right. So you want to bring your sympathetic nervous system online in the morning because mm -hmm. that is the one that energizes you. So, for example, you could, at the end of your shower, turn on cold. Pleasant? No. But... Charging your sympathetic nervous system? It works. Yes, for just a few minutes. You could do that with um, aerobic exercise. We know that 30 minutes of aerobic exercise boosts your mood, decreases mm -hmm. your stress, also brings your sympathetic nervous system back online. Mm -hmm. You can dip your face in cold water, and there are various ways to charge that up. I've been watching that a lot. You know, it's that people are dipping their faces into yeah. bowls That's right. of ice. It brings on a diver's reflex by holding your breath under cold water, which actually lowers your blood pressure and pulse, which actually makes you less stressed through the day. That's why. That's really interesting. Yeah. So what, fall blues can mean uh, a lot in terms of your relationship. Definitely your relationships. I'm going to say two things. Yeah. News consumption. I want you to create a diet for that mm -hmm. because it's really 
creating problems right now. So limit it. Take the pings off your phone that give you the headlines and the jolts throughout the day. Just 30 minutes a day. Pick your place that you look. Maybe it's non-visual. Maybe it's only written because that disturbs you less. So do that. But relationships are the number one source mm -hmm. of happiness in your life. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are being stressed right now by the news and the election stuff. Prioritize those. Realize those matter more than being right or what's going to happen in the election. So say, if we're arguing, let's agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. For Thanksgiving, let's not talk about that. Let's agree to disagree. And let's say, I love you, you love me. Let's interact in a way that we prioritize that relationship. It will help you overall with the blues, absolutely. Okay, what else can we do? Okay, you want to immerse yourself in some of the fun and kitschy stuff of fall. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds goofy, but that creates Halloween a Halloween decorations. You know, the truth is <laughs> Halloween decorations. It's true, it's true. I mean, don't stress yourself out about it, but do some of those things, maybe more than a little pumpkin mark. Mm -hmm. You know, do some of those things because actually being around the leaves, eating, having the pumpkin latte, making a banana bread with, with yeah. spices, those things actually make you feel like, I look forward to, I enjoy part of the fall. So you kind of want to lean into that stuff. And when do, you, when do you know that you might want to see a pro? Yes. Okay. If you are for more than two weeks feeling highly irritable or blue and sad most of the day, every day, if you can't sleep because you're waking up and you can't go back to sleep or you feel like sleeping all day, if you lose your appetite and are losing weight or your carb craving and you're packing on the pounds, if you lose your libido, you don't feel like sex, you're not taking pleasure in things that you normally take pleasure in, those are signs. Mm. And you should seek out a professional. And what you should not do is self-medicate with alcohol or with substances. Great advice, Great advice, as always. Yeah, for all these tips and more, head to our website. Come up next, Shailene Woodley. Thank you, Stick around.